Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, for your viewing pleasure today, we have a gorgeous, handsome fountain pen. We have a Waterman's 45 safety pen. This one made in the USA. Now, made in the USA, I'm dating this pen around about 1917. Yes. 1917 so as you can see what we've got is a antique fountain pen over a hundred years old and what a beauty now first of all let's take you to the the barrel print some of it is a little bit on the worn side but I'm hoping you may be able to see some of it now to the very top it has patent dates which are a little bit worn Okay, but hopefully you can see just below that it has Waterman and then to the centre it's got the, the circle for the ideal and then to the right fountain pen and then just underneath it has pen New York USA August 4th 1903 and then finally to the very bottom safety pen. Okay, so that's the barrel in print. Also, to the cap, we've also got another imprint there, a little bit clearer. It says Waterman's, and it's got the another patent number there. So that's a little bit clearer. And then finally, to the end of the barrel, to the to the screw knob at the end, you can see it's got the number. 45 so that's the model number the 45 it's a lovely large pen the size of it 135 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a tad over 12.5 millimeters in diameter so a lovely large fountain pen as we said a little bit earlier I'm dating it although the the patent is 1903, we're dating it around 1917. It's made of black, well, black hard rubber. Originally it would have been chased, but obviously through the years the chasing has worn slightly. There's some slight discolouring to the pen, but hey, over a hundred years old, I'm sure we'd also be a little bit discoloured. <laughs> So let's unscrew the cap. Let's show you the pen in numerous different angles. Okay. And for you people that have not seen these pens before, you'll say, oh, it's got no nib. Well, it has. The nib is actually inside the barrel. And what actually happens, we unscrew this little knob to the end here. And by uns unscrewing that, you'll see the nib comes out of the barrel if we screw it back again it retracts back into the barrel so a lovely ingenious design let's screw it back in so when you actually carry the pen about when it's actually got ink in it you retract the nib into the into the barrel you will screw the cap back on and in effect there's actually a flat spot inside the cap which sits against this lip here and in effect supposedly shuts off any ink prevents any leakage if I actually get my little light and there we go if we shine it in for you okay so I'm hoping you can see that you can see this sort of sort of flat button inside the cap there and that is the the area where the top of the barrel sits against and shuts off and prevents any leaks so let's uh, let's show you the nib so we unscrew the knob once again and you can see it's got the the threads to the very top of the barrel there and let's show you this lovely nib okay so the nib on this on this pen 
is actually a Waterman's Ideal 14 karat gold nib. I don't know if it's actually visible to the very bottom. It has New York. And then what you can't see because it's just slightly inside inside the barrel. This is a gorgeous number five nib. There's a sideways view. Some of you people that may have seen this in my latest pen haul, you would have noticed that the nib was bent. What we've done was straighten that out. And there's the feed underneath. All the parts internally have been cleaned. You can see the feed is lovely and clean and ready and ready to go. All the internal parts have been cleaned. Inside here there was actually an old cork seal that has been replaced with three o-rings so fingers crossed that is nicely sealed not only is it sealed but it allows the nib to be a little bit on the stiff side as it should be to prevent the nib going in when you're right when you're actually writing a lovely size pen with my large hands it's very nice and comfortable to hold so let's retract it back in now I know you people like to see these pens writing this one's going to the customer so yeah okay let's let's show the pen writing because well I've not actually tested it so what I'm actually going to do is use a syringe and to the right of me here I've got some ink let's uh, pull out some ink okay so there we go we've got a lovely syringe full of ink now the instructions on the original Waterman's actually told you to actually fill it in an upright position okay as well as carry the pen in an upright position as well so the way we fill it we use a syringe um, a pipette um, an eyedropper originally would have been used an eyedropper but let's pop that inside okay let's put all the ink into the pen there we go so we've got pretty well a full syringe of ink they recommend you actually fill the pen up when you're actually filling it up uh, to prevent any sort of air exact sort of leaving um, any air inside the barrel so what we're going to do now is actually turn the nib all the way out let's bring on some paper now when I turn this upside down I'm going to keep my fingers crossed <laughs> let's see if the pen writes and if so how does it write so okay so like I say I've fully restored it so nice and simple it's it'll take a little bit for the ink to sort of seep through but what we'll do we'll there we go that'll help a little bit so let's see how we write oh there we go now we've just got a large blob there the reason being is that what I'm actually doing is holding the pen uh, the heat of my hand is actually heating the air inside so that's the reason for the blob but there we go we're on we're on now uh, safety so we've got a waterman 45 safety pen made in new york usa date as we said 1917 okay so let's 
let me just get another tissue just give it a little wipe there it's actually writing very nicely right now looking at the writing here it looks to have maybe a little bit of a an italic nib so there you go on the yes we do yes there's no flexibility in the pen it's quite a stiff nib but hmm Excellent. I'm more than happy with that. What I'll do, let's dab that little blob there before it goes dripping. But look at that. So we've actually got a nib. It's writing with, I'd say, a medium line, but with, I would say, with an italic nib. You can see we've got some nice variation in the line there. But the nice thing about it, it's working which is precisely what we want and if we feel down at the bottom here look no ink <laughs> okay so well as I'd expect the seals are actually working perfect so at this point when you finish writing you would turn the knob retract the nib back into the barrel and at this point, screw the barrel on. That would sit against the flat section inside that we showed you. In fact, what a match. No, it's okay. I was going to empty the pen, but we'll do that after the video. But there we go. We'll leave it at that. So what we've got is a Waterman 45 safety pen. Beautiful example. Full working order, as you can see. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, don't be shy, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, again just down below, give the video a thumbs up, don't be shy. And don't forget, wherever you are around the world, please stay safe. But for now, I'll just say bye bye for now.